All right. So I um, had a question from a former student on file management. So this is the problem. I, I noticed that a lot of people, especially who aren't professionals, um, they just shoot for days and months and maybe even a year and just work off their SD or compact flashcards. They never actually take the images off those discs, which is bad because that's the weakest link. Like you have a, a much greater chance of your SD card failing than you ever do a hard drive. Um, and you should really be backing stuff up. I had another student who kept everything on one hard drive and guess what? Their hard drive failed and it was going to be two grand to get it recovered. So, you know, don't get yourself into those circumstances. Listen, right? So I'm doing this on bridge. Um, I work in photo mechanic, but I understand that not everybody has photo mechanic. Um, I have a video on photo mechanic and how I do this, but I'm going to do this one on bridge because most people um, have Lightroom or have Photoshop. Um, this is just another way to do it. So what's important here is I have an SD card in, and I think it's just with some videos and a couple of photos I shot of some food. Um, but I'm, what I'm going to be showing you here is the process um, that I go through, and I do this for everything. Um, you need to label stuff so you can vent you can find it. You know, if you can't find your images a year from now, it's going to be frustrating. Um, I, I don't make all these folders like a lot of people do. I really use a tagging system to help myself find stuff. And I also uh, use uh, d different file extensions mean different things to me. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we've, we've got Bridge open here. And this little icon up here is to get images off the SD card. All right. I would call this in import all right but i'm going to call something that's uh used from photo mechanic because i think it's it, it's it says more it's ingest so what i'm doing by an ingest is not only am i taking my images off my sd card and putting them somewhere else like an external drive somewhere but i'm also adding information so uh ap caption information or information about my shoot all right, so we're going to click on this here, and it might take a little bit to load up. Now, hold on. Uh, I don't use this program, but I'm pretty sure I, I we can get through it. Uh, we're going to first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit advanced dialog box because this just gives you the basics. But let's get as much stuff as we can get, and I will open this up big so we can see what's going on. Yeah. So these are not interesting photos, but that's not important. So we're getting photos from this SD card that I had. All right. So this is, is section one. And then we're going to put them somewhere. So in this case, I'm going to hit choose and I will move them to this SSD. And hit that. All right. Then it's going to say, do you want to create a subfolder? Yes. All right. So uh, shot name, you can do this all kinds of different ways. I'll just do custom name, all right? This is the way I do this stuff. You do not have to, um, but you need to come up with something logical that makes sense. I use a, a list view and I can click on date modified and it brings up my last thing that I did. That's usually the thing I wanna work on and if it's not the last one, it's usually in the first top three so I can find stuff. So the first thing I always do is put date in the full date. So I will put 1-2-18. Or in this case, 2018. I know it's not the second, but that's okay. All right. And then I'm going to put a slug name. So I will just call this casserole. All right. So uh, the reason you want to put a name is and date is sometimes like, let's say you take pictures of your dog all the time. If you just call it dog and you don't have a date, you won't really know which one, but putting a date or like dog play in snow will make sense. So this is your slug name. All right. 
And then some people, uh, usually more on the more commercial side, they'll put their initials or something like that. Uh, I don't use that anymore, but when I work for newspaper and stuff, we always put our initials. That also would help me find my images because I could always do some sort of a search and anything with my initials would come up. All right, do you want to rename the files? And yes, actually I do. I'm going to do a custom name. So it's going to start at one. This is what this means here. And I'm going to give it a name. So this was casserole. So it's going to be called casserole. That way if I ever had to do a, a search, um, instead of having some like crazy uh, thing that doesn't mean any, we'll go back here, do not rename files. Normally this would be called Pepe98828. Well, that doesn't mean anything. So by switching to custom name, now it means something. All right. Open files to bridge, since I'm using bridge, yes. If you want to convert to a digital negative, you can do that. Delete original files. I do not do that, right? I never delete anything off an SD card until it's backed up twice. So when I save to an SD, I'll usually save to an external drive, and then I'll move all my files over to my NAS, um, and then once I've done that, then I will delete everything off my card, all right? And I do that every time I shoot something. So I shoot one assignment or one thing, and I save the files two places, and then I reformat that card. Do not delete off your card. You want to reformat. All right, so save copies to. So if you want to duplicate this and automatically save to two different places, you could do that here as well. I'm not going to do it. So here's the ingest part. So basic metadata, none. All right. So uh, the bad thing about Bridge is it's not really made for this stuff, but at least you can put some information. Um, this is why I like other programs. Even Lightroom has a better one than this. So uh, creator, I will put, just put my first name. So your, your, I'll do my uh, full name and then copyright. Now, with a normal AP caption style, you can, I mean, I have all my contact information. So if somebody finds one of these photos on the internet, they need to contact me, they know how to do that. Um, uh, for newspaper or editorial work, I can put captions in there. I even grade my students' work in these fields. So uh, you want to make sure all this is filled out. This is really going to help you. So um, what we've done here is notice we have a name so we can find stuff and then we have casserole and, and so this is going to be saved to an external drive and then after I'm done saving I'm going to manually drag it over to my NAS. All right, so uh, we're back here. Um, that stuff is all imported to that SSD. And normally I would now just transfer everything over to uh, my NAS. But I'm not going to do that because I'm just going to actually delete these files. I don't want them. So the next thing I would do is, and I can only go through my images really, I would go through and tag my images. All right. And so uh, we'll switch over to film strip here. And so uh, let me get something that's a little bit more exciting than this. All right. All right, so I had to find a folder of images that I can actually put online here. So these are not exciting, but it's, it's good enough. It's going to kind of show you the process. So I switched over to film strip mode, right? So we were in essentials, and I flipped over to film strip. So now I'm going to go through the process of tagging my images. And so this is letting me know what I like and what I don't like. You know, so I might have shot a whole bunch of images. So on this, I have um, 187 images. And so I'm not going to want to use every one. So, right, so we're tech going through and we're looking at our images. And let's say maybe I like that image. All right. Um, I'm going to tag that. All right. So I gave it one star. So you can see right there, it's one star. I hit command one. All right. Um, and it doesn't matter if it's one star, two star, five stars. It's not important. The part important part is that you tag it. So we're going to go through and we're just looking at our, our pictures here. All right. I'm looking for images that I like. 
say I like that one that one we're just looking here and you can see these are out of focus because they haven't rendered yet which is ridiculous that's why I don't use this program because it takes too long so when it's in focus it's rendered um, the, the good thing about photo mechanic as soon as you uh, it renders it instantaneously so let's say I like that one we're not going to go through all these because it will take forever right so now that I've picked the images that I like right I can go out here and, and, and uh, rate those and so now I'm just saying hey just show me the images that I rated so I don't have to be bothered with all that other crap I can just look at these and pick the ones I want to edit and work in Photoshop um, so doing this uh, is very helpful now if you don't like stars you can actually do colors as well so that's command six command seven different colors so command one two three four five is is stars and six seven eight nine is colors and zero is back to nothing all right so that's just a simple process um, you know just to get you started of how to sort and how to I save photos. So hopefully that was helpful and we'll see you next time.